Hey everyone, this is Mr. F and Everything, and today I have a video showing you how to block ads on Android. I made a video like this a couple months back. It was using AdBlock, and I actually don't prefer to use AdBlock. I have it on my browser, possibly. I don't want to self-incriminate myself, so I will not say. But that was what I used, but I don't really like it on here, so I'm going to show you another uh, app that you have to be rooted for this method though. It's called Addaway. And it's right here. So this is their website. Let's see, uh, it seems that the newest one would be version 3.01. And I'll download a ES downloader. Actually, while that's downloading, it might be a little slow because I have some things uploading and downloading in the background. I actually wanted to show you what how annoying it can be with ads. And you can see you get these ads that pop in down there. And then if I go to share it to Instagram, I think I'll get a... So that time I didn't get an ad to pop up, which is nice, but oftentimes they do and it's very annoying. And then here's one. You can see those are annoying those banner ads and a lot of times they'll come up full screen and you have to exit them and I'll show you one more and see if these full screen ones are really annoying and to me they actually really mess things up so let's open the file and install allow all this Again, AdBlock's great for on the browser, but on here it only seemed to block uh, in the, the web browsers. It didn't seem to do anything in app wise. So let's go here, add away, and I'll show you how I set it up. So you have to grant it uh, super user. Okay, then you're going to go to this one here. Just it, it might. Let me actually stop some of my downloads here, so that way it doesn't take forever. Okay. Although sometimes it will take longer than it should, for no reason. And then it'll want you to reboot after this. Uh, I won't reboot right now, you don't always have to, but I would the first time. And then another thing I like to do is go to Preferences. Check for updates, I like that check for updates daily and then I like turn off I don't know if I can turn off the notifications I like the automatic and then you can set up white listing but I haven't run into a situation where I needed that it's fine for when it updates automatically then so then I probably will reboot so let me pause the video okay so now I rebooted it takes a few seconds for a super user to grant everything I'm gonna give it 30 seconds and I'll show you, again, this is where it is, it's called Add Away, not Add Block. And let's go to YouTube, and you'll see no ads. Now if people ask me, does it block in the YouTube app? Well, this is a newer version, I actually did a clean install of the factory image for the latest version of Lollipop on the Nexus 7. You can see it doesn't bring up the ads, so let's click on this. I'll just give you a quick tutorial. Again, I already showed you what to do for, for the people that complain you took too long. Well, I already showed you what to do, so this is for people that just want to see how it works, and that it does work. Again, no annoying ads there. Looks like it's going to play here. Yeah, so there weren't any ads there. Um, now, is, I'll show you these too. No uh, ad popping up down there. And we'll see again with here. But I noticed with the YouTube app, like even without the ad blocking software, Half the time the ads just don't come up anyway, even on monetized videos like my own, they just don't show up. But I noticed with the YouTube app when they do show up, it's always the 15 second ad where you can skip it after 5 seconds. So to wait 5 seconds isn't the end of the world. But see, no more ads. And I showed you the same in the web browsing. Again, no ads here, so let's go to eBay, see if any 
think some ads pop up here. Yeah, you can see again, they don't show up. So it works very nicely. Let's actually go to YouTube and see if it does block these. I don't think it will. But again, most of the time, ads don't pop up for some reason. That one does, but that's a different type of ad. It's not, you know, this is inside the app. Uh, something that's going to have an ad on it. Now, whether or not that was monetized, I don't know. It probably was, but sometimes they will. You just wait five seconds and skip. It does work. Again, I would have it set up to manually update every single day, and then you can open it up and tweak some things in here if you need to add whitelist, but it should work fine for you. Adblock's great for browsers and desktops, but I really like Adaway. For Android devices, it does great. Again, I'm on 5.1.1 Lollipop. Everything works fine. And again, you need to be rooted to use this. So, so hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully this helps your device out more than Adblock in my previous video about this did. And thanks for watching. And please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.